Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about quick test imaging terminology. It is a condition of depression of stenome posteriorly leading to concurrent of midline anterior inferior chest wall. Presentation, most common signs and symptoms concern about physical appearance are common. Exercise intolerance, 82%, chest pain, 68%, poor endurance, 67%, shortness of breast, 42%. Other signs and symptoms, cardiac, hormonic murmur, mitral valve prolapse, syncope, World Parkinson Y syndrome, restrictive lung, central airway compression, palpable bony asymmetry associated with malpectus deformity may be mistaken for soft tissue mass. Demography epidemiology account for up to 90% of anterior chest wall disorder. Incident of one in every 400 to 1,000 early birth. Three to five times more prevalent in male. Imaging, radiogram, chest and border, blurring with the artery, your rib, degree of depression in chest, especially on lateral view, Prenas procedure with evaluation with system and handling ratio of transfer diameter di divided by sagittal diameter of chest handler index more than 30, 3.25 is considered enough deformity for surgical candidacy. Consider reporting on correction and depression index to capture patient with clinical significant deformity but possibly no more higher index. CT non contrast low ampule image. MR single gadget MR can replace echo and CT. Decrease right ventricle injection fraction. And hemodynamic poly is sign significant pericardial diffusion are common. Post mass procedure, assess for complication by displacement, rotation, pneumothorax, pleural diffusion, sternal infection. This is the axial SS. PMR, so the effects of the respiratory phase on chest wall mobility. In this case, a normal color index calculated during inspiration could have affected surgical decision making. So, inspiration color index 2.9, expression index 3.5. And again, this is the axial SSFPMR, so the calculation of correction index, which is obtained by drawing a horizontal line across the entry spines and at the level of maximum sternal depression. Two distance are then measured. The minimum distance between the posterior sternum and the anterior spines is used for the Heller index. The maximum distance between the line placed on the anterior spine and the inner margin of the most anterior portion of the chest. The difference between the two lines is the amount of central defects in the chest. If this difference between the measurement is then divided by the maximum prominence of the chest. 
and multiply by 100 is generate the percentage of chest dip the patient is missing as as FPMR so the calculation of the depression index which is obtained by identifying the point of maximum depression of the stenum and then drawing a line across the ostentary rib a measurement is then taken from the mid-stenome perpendicular to this line. The stenal depression is then divided by the transfer geometer of the vertebral body at that level. The depression index before 8 over y. AP radiograph so a silhouette signs with an apparent opacity appearing the right hand border. Note the vertically oriented anterior rib. Lateral radiograph in the same patient so posterior portioning of the stenum as compared to the anterior rib consistent with Thus, excavatum, there is no middle lobe pathology. Axial non contrastion and CT, so a mild pectus deformity causing a symmetric convexity of the left anterior rib, which was palpable and initially suspected of being a rib mass. Treatment, converse conservative management for markets, minimally inv invasive repair, nurse procedure, transfer curve metal bar is inserted, dip to stenum and repitch. Excellent result in more than 85% of patients, relatively safe procedure with minimal mobility in long vertical deformity two or more bars may be utilized bars remain in place for up to several years thank you